will come to a lesson by the name discharge of a contract. A contract is said to be discharged when obligation created by the contract ceases to buy the parties who now freed from the performance. Liability of a party after discharge depends on the discharge method. So liability of a party after the discharge depends on the method of discharge when discharging the contract. There are various ways a contract may be discharged. One of them is express agreement. A contract may be discharged by express agreement if both parties there to expressly agree to discharge the contract through mutual promise constituting the consideration. This is where parties agree expressly to, to discharge the contract or to free from the obligation created by the contract discharged by performance. A contract is discharged by performance if both parties have fully performed their obligation as agreed. So a contract can be discharged when both parties have fully performed their obligation as agreed in the contractual agreement or contractual relationship. Discharged by impossibility or frustration. A contract is discharged by frustration if a contract is rendered impossible, illegal, or commercially useless by extraneous circumstances for which neither party had foreseen. Therefore, a contract may be discharged by impossibility if the, the, if the contract is based on impossible event or impossible contractual agreement which cannot happen. Discharged by breach of a contract. A contract is discharged if Innocent party contractual rights are violated by the counterpart party in the contractual relationship. So a contract can also be discharged if there occur a breach of agreement in the contractual relationship. So the innocent party can discharge the contractual relationship. Discharged by operation of the law, it involves discharge of the contract at the instance of the so the discharge through operation law is based on court orders which can be used to compile the party to discharge the contract. I hope that marks the end of my of the end of the ways to which a contract can be discharged. We shall cover discharge of a contract by frustration and discharge of by breach of contract and discharge by the operational rules with broadly with sub with other sub lessons in order to create proper understanding of those discharged you can also add some ways in which a contract can be discharged in the comment section also you can post other ways in which you think a contract can be discharged through my contents which i put in the description page remember also to Hit the subscribe button so that you not miss out any of my future content like this. You can also comment about the video if it is clear or if it is understandable. Thank you for watching.